Hello everybody. Today, it's a rainy day down here in Florida, so we're going to make us a snack since we're indoors and we're going to make sausage balls. I've got one pound of sausage and I've added some crushed red peppers to it because we like everything spicy. This right here is one pound of cheese that I grated myself. Eight ounces of it is pepper jack and eight ounces of it is Kobe jack. And then I've got two and a half to three cups of Bisquick right here that we're gonna mix in for a binder too. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, mix all this cheese together with the sausage. Okay, I got that mixed up pretty good. So now, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of this at a time. Okay, we're gonna work this bisquick in here a little bit at a time. It may not take all three cups, probably about two and a half cups, but you want enough so it'll be thick. You don't want it real soft. If not, you'll have sausage cookies instead of sausage balls. Okay, it's mixed up pretty good here. Let's see if it'll roll into a ball. You can make these whatever size you want. I usually make them similar to a golf ball size. See that right there? Now you can cook as many as you want to at one time that you want to eat. And these others, you can roll them up in a bottle like this right here and put them on the cookie sheet and set them over in the freezer till they harden up, then put them in a Ziploc bag and just take them out whenever you need them. Okay, I wind up getting 40 balls out of it. I'm fixing to cook 12 now, and I'm going to set these in the freezer so they get hard, and then I'm going to put them over in a Ziploc bag. So now it's going into a 375 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes until they get brown. Probably about halfway through, I'll turn and flip them over. cool off a little bit and I'll plate them up. Okay, I believe they've cooled off some, so let's give one a try. Mm -mm. Still a little hot, but they're good. Mm. Mm. Really good. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this. Give me a like and a thumbs up. Talk to y'all later.